Hey guys, I'm ZSH Plays. Welcome to this very special episode of Planet Wild to celebrate the new conservation park. Today we're going to be recreating the Land of the Leopard National Park in Primorsky Krai in the Russian Far East which is the last remaining stronghold of the beautiful Amur leopard. Now the leopard's not the only animal that we're going to see today. We've also got the Russian elk, the Asian black bear and the Asian badger and more on those later. So here we are in the European tiger map in Planet Zoo. I've imported a height map that I created which matches the area of the land of the leopard that we're going to be building today. And as you can see, like always with height maps when you first import them, it looks awful. So the first thing that we're going to do is some terrain painting to get this looking a bit more like it should do. And there we go. So the terrain painting's done, the water is in, and this is starting to look a little bit more like an actual uh, environment now. Don't worry too much about this big cliff face here. The main reason for this is so that we can get the camera on top of it, because there's going to be a whole habitat for the leopards up there, which will give us an amazing view over this part of the map which is blank at the moment and the majority of this cliff is going to be covered with trees and then obviously rocks grass and everything else so it doesn't look as plain as this so the next stage is to get the trees in so the first thing to do when adding the trees to the map is to create a plant palette so this is a collection of trees that are found in the land of the leopard national park uh, or the closest that I can get to them with the trees available in Planet Zoo. Some of them are just normal trees. Some of them, like this one here, are made up of uh, three different trees stuck together to get it to the right sort of height and look that I want. And then we've also got some plants and shrubs and ivy and things like that, including these beautiful uh, lotus plants, which I did not realize you would get in places as cold as this, but you do. They are gonna make the river over here look a lot nicer. So we take these trees, put them into a nice natural looking arrangement and then just copy that all over the map which gives us an effect like this. Looking a lot more like the huge national park that it should be now with all these trees in here. These are all over the map and the view from the top of this cliff is looking a lot more natural now. Really happy with how this is starting to come together. So all these trees are essentially one group of trees here which has been copied all over the map rotated and just put into the most appropriate place for it don't worry that some of them are floating that gets fixed and now with the trees in place we can move on to doing what we always do in this series which is selecting a few areas to go crazy with the details on so that we can get some really nice shots of the animals and have something that really feels lifelike so the first area i've selected is here we're going to have the after effects of a forest fire i want a big patch of scorched earth dead trees, all sorts of stuff that's going to make that feel real. And this is going to be the habitat for the Asian badgers. You can see the effects of the height map here, how it jumps from one height to the next. So that is all going to be smoothed out all across the parts of the map that we're working on to make it look really realistic. Um, so let's do that and take a look. All right, so this is starting to come together now. I've used a lot of terrain painting with soil, um, rock and things like that to give it this sort of scorched earth feel lots of little scrubby plants lying around a sapling rocks etc and this should give it the feel of a, an area that's been destroyed by a forest fire which i thought would be interesting now this is where the asian badgers are going to live um, if you're thinking there aren't any asian badgers in planet zoo you would be correct and i don't use mods on this channel so how do we combat that well i found out that the asian badger is essentially very, very similar indeed to the European badger, except rather than being the classic sort of gray, black and white coloring, it's actually a sort of sandy brown with white stripes. And in Planet Zoo, there is a rare color morph of the European badger, which gives it a sort of reddy brown uh, skin, uh, which European badgers are very occasionally born with. So I set up a badger breeding center just here and after buying and breeding more European badgers than I can count, I finally got a little family of erythristic badgers, as they're called, who are gonna be the Asian badgers for our park. Let's get on to the next area, which is the riverbank. So the riverbank is now done. Lots of rocks, lots of plants, lots of dead trees, everything we need to make this look like a beautiful riverbank. Lots more terrain painting, more trees, and this is really starting to come together, I think. I'm really pleased with how the grass looks around here. 
I used a technique that I actually stole from Romano Palacios, who built one of the episodes of Planet Wild, which is to use some of the different grasses in the game buried into the ground um, to get more interesting coverage on the floor. So as well as all the sort of drin grass that you might expect like this, we've also got the Trioda grass, which is one of the, I think this is an Australian grass if I remember correctly, but we can show that here. You bury that into the floor and you just get this almost looks like wheat sort of sticking up. But yeah, very happy with how the riverbank's looking. This is where the Asian black bears are gonna live. So before we move on to the final habitat for the Amur leopard, let's take a quick look at the habitat for the Russian elk. So this forest clearing, using the same techniques I used at the riverbank really, but with a few more different plants, this is where the elk is gonna live. But let's take care of the main habitat, the cliff top for the Amur leopards. So this cliff top habitat is inspired by a photo that I saw online, which is the reason that I wanted to make this national park, uh, a photo of an Amur leopard walking along this cliff top, which was just so beautiful. I knew I had to recreate it. And you can see the rest of the park stretching before us here and really starting to look good. So again, some of the plants buried into the ground and a whole load more trees, and then a lot of rocks around here to make the top of the cliff look good. And that is the land of the leopard complete. So we're gonna get the animals in, take a look at them. I really hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon for some more Planet Zoo. Let's go, 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 let's go